in any analytics tool we know our data and we make reports we refine them but there is one visual in power bi which will allow you to discover your own data in a better way and that is called decomposition tree let's see how to create a decomposition tree visual from scratch i have just opened power bi desktop this is the december 2022 version i am showing make sure you use the latest version so you get the latest features now of course we need some data so let's use this sample data set load sample data choose the financial table and import it the data is loaded 700 rows and these are the columns now of course typically i'll create various types of visuals and put them in a single page and then maybe interact with them cross filter slices and make a standard report but in addition to that i want the ability to explore my data in a completely unstructured manner ad hoc manner the way my mind says or the way my gut feel says without getting constrained by a particular visual and what is in x axis what is in y axis so let's use this free form exploratory visual called decomposition tree by default it just puts a blank visual i'm going to close the filter area and make this bigger you could also just go to focus mode it anyway is going to fit the full screen now that we have created the visual how to explore it that's the next topic of course generally you will use the most important parameter or measure in this case it is sum of sales means total sales i am exploring how my products are sold in simple terms now i want to explore it by or explain it by what i don't know i'll decide but what are the potential parameters or fields or columns i will use to explain so country is definitely one of them the band of discount means how much discount was given then month name and then product name and of course segment you can have any number of columns here the order in which you add these columns does not matter but these are the dimensions or fields now what is it showing me total sales and a plus sign this plus sign is basically your key to exploration when i click on it it gives me all the columns and you can choose to break it down by any one you want so i want to see segment wise breakup click on it it is going to show you this now this number was broken down by individual segment and you can see something like a data bar as well here let me show you one very important thing this is the structure of the visual which shows in which field well which actual data is being added now to format the visual you go to this second button and in this we have control over how these individual bars look and right now by default it is level maximum means what once this sum of sales was broken down by segment whichever is the highest segment that is the full bar and others are shown with respect to that particular item so this is sort of like 100% and then these are the subset of that but there is an option i can say top node means in this case whatever is the actual value of government for this so accordingly and then parent node in this case it is same so there is no difference and level maximum so it's important to choose the right way to scale it so that interpretation becomes easier you can also change the size while we are at it but let's not do that because this one expands very quickly horizontally now let's go and expand this part again click on the plus sign and choose another column or a field now in what order depends on the order in which you want to explore i can go to any plus sign and choose the next level when all the levels are finished you won't see a plus sign because there is no more field left now if you click on any intermediate bar for example right now it's mexico i click on germany of course this changes or you click on any bar at any level or any value at any level the rest of it is going to reflect live and this is what makes it very easy to do exploration without getting confused with too many visuals and too much of cross filtering it's one visual and it's showing you what you need exactly the way you need it with just simple clicks the simplicity of it itself is its strength great 
Now let's see something else. Of course, these are looking blue, blue, blue. Maybe I want their colors to be different. So I can go to conditional formatting. I have enabled conditional formatting data bar color. And now I'm going to click on the plus sign and still click on the segment. We already know what happens. The only additional thing is the color itself is changing based on the value. If it's high value, it is darker blue. If it is lower value, it is lighter blue. So let's put something which will have a lot of values like month name and then you can see it better. So this is how it shows the report. But that's not all. This is just the beginning. So let's come back to the first level and see the real beauty and real power of this particular feature. So far what we have been doing is clicking on this button and deciding what to break it down by. That decision was mine. But let's say I don't want to do that. I want to maximize my sales. So I want to know if I break it down by this versus this versus this, which one will give me single value of maximum sale or highest value. So I could have done that by manually adding country. Say, okay, what is the highest value? I got this. Then I'll remove country. Then I'll click on plus sign again, discount band. What is the highest value? Like that, I can do it five times. And then I'll say, oh, this is the one which gives me highest value. But I don't want to do it five times. I want Power BI to do it. So I just click on high value. What does that mean? I'm not going to choose one of these parameters. Let Power BI choose based on which one gives me highest value. And that happens to be segment. Very good. Now I want to break down segment for the government item or node. And that also I want broken down by which one of them will give me the highest value. And now I want to do continue doing this further. So I'm going to say again plus sign high value, again plus sign high value, and again plus high value. So far so good. Now this order of things was not decided by me. So now I can actually understand my data. Saying, oh, segment is driven by discount, discount is driven by month and uh, product and country. Now all this is for what? Yes, of course it is for sales, but this is for government. Now if I choose enterprise, for example, the entire picture may change because what comes in the next level and next level and next level, I am not deciding. The system is deciding based on low and high value contributions. So now for the time being, let's remember this discount month country product. And now when I click on enterprise, notice some things may change, some things may not change. So depending on which node I click on, the parameters which come here are dynamically changing. And that is really useful. And that's what I mean. You will learn about your own familiar data in a much better manner and many new things which you may not have noticed at all. Because of the analysis bias, now you will start discovering. When you see an icon like this, that is the indication that it is either a high or low value AI based rather than you having explicitly chosen it. Just to show you an example, I'm going to remove a couple of levels and now this time I'm going to say product. Now what happened? Because the last one was manual, everything else became manual. So that's important. If you want AI based, AI, AI, AI. If you break the chain of AI by putting something hard coded, then the previous AI ones will go away. So AI split has to be followed by AI split. Now what is this lock sign? In this case, I am in edit mode, so it doesn't really matter. But if I lock something, publish that report and others I share the report with, they can add other columns or other fields, but they cannot touch this. They can explore this, but they cannot remove this. So that's the purpose of locking. As you can see, this visual on its own is powerful because it allows you to do exploration in any direction within your data. But that's just the beginning. Now we will see how to use decomposition tree with other visuals to add value. So this is our decomposition tree right now. And I'm also going to put another visual just for showing you some other feature, cross filtering. So this time I'm going to put it as segment and sales. Now notice what happens. Right now, let's say I'm in enterprise and currently it is segment which is locked and all others are manual. So now if I filter on something, this will get filtered like everything else gets filtered, 
cross filtering as it is called in Power BI and then it is showing me what is relevant and what is not relevant based on other visuals which is again another way of correlating your data. Now I am going to change all these and make them AI based values all high values. So I am not going to show that to you again I am just going to fast forward it. So, okay. For now for this node it is segment discount month country and now I am going to filter on something else and see what happens it is changing according to what I am filtering. So, whether it is manual or AI based it is going to respect cross filtering. When to use decomposition tree? Generally you will notice that because it grows it needs lot of space. So, it should not be a part of a regular report because then it will not get enough space. But then if you put it on a separate page there is a chance that people may not see that page. So, we have a catch 22 situation. So, ideally what you should do is have a regular report in a small corner you say if you want to explore in an ad hoc manner open this put it in focus mode focus mode means what put it in full screen and then use decomposition tree. So, although ideally decomposition tree requires full space it can be and should be a part of a regular report page as well. Now, let us see where to use decomposition tree in real life. Here is an example of a standard report the columns are same same data, but I have created a more traditional report. This is also power BI what is the benefit of this I have multiple visuals showing different dimensions. Now, when I click on something for example, when I click on government everything else will be filtered by government we know that that is cross filtering. But now this is sort of a hard coded report the visuals are decided what is in each visual is decided there is no exploration like we saw before. I am not saying do not create such reports, but in addition to this report if I also want to give the user or the decision maker exploratory ability what should I do. So, I have kept some extra space here I am going to add the decomposition tree visual of course, it deserves much more space than this, but I am not going to bother about that right now. I am going to add the sales in analyze and the rest of the fields exactly the way we added earlier. There is no place for anything, but we need to inform and educate users that if you want exploration this is already there keep it maybe put a title to it maybe break it down by a level like this and leave it alone. So, people know that this is exploratory and they can always use the focus mode make it full screen and then explore while looking at a standard report. Now, as though this is not enough there is more remember I recently created a video about tool tips. Now, imagine combining the two and creating a decomposition tree with a relevant tool tip which shows you additional details would not that be brilliant let us see how that is done. And now here is the magic I still have the same decomposition tree. But now if I want to investigate let us say what is happening in government was a small business or on government instead of that boring tool tip I am actually getting a full fledged report filtered on government segment just remember those totals 52 million for example. Now, I move the mouse cursor to small business everything changes filtered by small business this is an amazing combination of standard reporting plus open ended exploration and I wish every user who wants to analyze data he learns this feature explores their data effectively understands much more about their business and takes the right decisions and the right time that is called empowerment. So, that is it for now I hope you like it and then share it with other people as well and start using it if you have any queries put it in comments subscribe click the bell icon and explore the super thanks option as well that is it for now. Thank you.